What's up guys, I'm Tommy Calloway. Today I'm going to show you how I draw on the screen for certain videos uh, or create like drawing animations showing up uh, on the sides, kind of like this. First off, this isn't really going to work. Uh, we should have, you should have a dark background or somewhere where, where you're overlaying the drawing that it that it's not hard to read. Because like up here there's like kind of white and like bright colors and this is distracting. Um, So you see something like this would probably work a lot better because now I can put drawings over this somewhat dark background and it'll be a lot easier to see instead of like all that busy background with all the different, different noise. Uh, second thing, <clears throat> you're going to need, okay, so there's more than one way to do this, but I use an iPad and an Apple Pencil. I know there's other ways to do it that doesn't require you to go out and buy like a iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil, but this is how I do it. Uh, next, you got to download the app Procreate. Start a new drawing. Set the background to black. And draw whatever you want to draw. I would recommend using a thicker brush than what I use here. Because when you key out the background, it gets kind of messy if it's too thin. So let's start over. There. Once you're done with your drawing, you just go up here, click the little wrench on share, export video. I like to use AirDrop because it's nice and convenient. Go straight to my Mac. All right, so now uh, when you've exported the art onto your computer, the art will look like this. It will start off with your completed drawing. It'll swipe over and then show the time lapse of whatever you were drawing. The length of the time lapse is determined by how you draw. It does one stroke per frame. So if you take short little strokes, you'll get a really long detailed time lapse. If you do long deliberate strokes, your time lapse will be a little bit shorter, kind of like the camera that I drew. So here's what it looks like in real time. So import the artwork into your project, um, drop it onto your timeline. Find out where you want to start, cut the rest of it, probably slow it down a bit. There. Find out where in your video you want to put the uh, overdrawing. Say I want to do it right here. Open up your effects browser. There we are. Chroma, no, what is it? Key, color key, that's the one we need. Drop it on there, key color, hit black, and then uh, you're good to go. Add frame hold if you want it to stay a little bit longer, and then it'll stay on there. There we go. So, <clears throat> Yeah, that's not the right place for that, but, you know, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them.